this is my first ever wig and not only wig this is my first synthetic wig like I've never worn a wig before it's super affordable if you want to hear more about it and how you can get it for yourself stay tuned hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> If you've never been here before, don't leave it out. Hitting that subscribe button. There is a subscribe button. Let me get the dynamics of what I'm about to say. I think the wrong button that says click here to subscribe is on the right and the red subscribe button is on the left. Did I get it right? Today, I'm going to give you a review on this wig. Best Short Bob Straight Non Lace Wigs. Synthetic Hair Machine Made Wig. Heat Safe. That's the name of the wig. It's pretty long and I purchased this on eBay. Initially, I wanted to get a kinky hair wig, like something that looks like my hair initially. And all of the kinky hair wigs that I saw online, I really could not afford them. So I just ended up buying this one, which costs a little under $10. It wasn't less than $9. It was more than $10 and shipping was free. Generally, I like the wig, but there are a few things that I really, well, firstly, I was disappointed that it didn't look exactly the way it looked in the photo, like the texture and everything was on point, but the cut of the wig and the style did not look the way that it was supposed to look on eBay. I think they really give me like six for nine in Jamaica, they say you get six for nine, like when you think you're getting something and then you get like cat in a bag or cat in a hat, cat in a bag, whatever it is. And <clears throat> it was in terms of the volume or the amount of hair that was in the wig is way thicker, which I hate because if you like look at um, lace wig tutorials or frontal tutorials, you see where the girls are like actually picking the hair out so that their um, hair front can look or hairline can look more natural. So I had to do a few things to it to make it fit the way I wanted it to fit initially. And for FYI, for those who don't know, I'm actually wearing the wig now. This is not how it came looking. I actually um, curled it up uh, in like I flexi hot water, flexi rod hot water it. I flexi rod hot watered it <laughs> um, about two or three days ago. I'll leave a link for everything that I talk about in the description box down below. So I was wearing it straight. It's almost one month now I've been wearing it and I wore it straight all month. But um, I just wanted to see how it would curl or how synthetic, uh, synthetic hair wig would curl so I just went ahead and curled it and it came out pretty nice like um, I think guys like curls because um, a few guys that saw me in it straight didn't say that they like it and then when I curled it they said that they liked it so I think guys like curls and long hair I don't know in terms of shedding this wig does not shed if it sheds it's like one and two here here and there and that's it this wig I'm, I was like so surprised this wig does not shed um, I also cut it down I took out some parts of it because it was too big for my head initially so I took that apart I'll leave a video for how I did that down below what else did I do to it I cut it I, I shed it like um, I stripped it like made it like feathery because it was too thick initially and I wanted it to look more natural so I did that also I leave a link for that in the description down below the only thing that I didn't do with this wig that I wanted to do was color it because I think it's just it was just too black in terms of if my skin was sensitive towards it it didn't itch me at all my girlfriend bought some hair online the other day and it it like she broke out these black marks came out on, on her skin and so forth so it didn't do that to me praise God thank you Jesus my face is still intact no itching it doesn't smell bad oh another thing I washed it I just um, washed it with some VO5 shampoo and conditioner just like regular hair I didn't like I just twirled it around in the soap water and then I rinsed it and then I just put conditioner on it just like my hair and I rinsed it and then I put it on the line to dry it wasn't I'm trying to remember no it wasn't in done direct direct sunlight but it was in the shade on my veranda 
and it dried relatively quick in terms of the whole lace aspect of it I when I purchased it I wasn't sure what the lace would look like I thought the lace would look like a lace wig so why are they calling it a lace wig I, people please I don't know anything about wigs feel free to correct me or incorrect me so I thought that it would have looked more lace like instead of weft like in regards to heat I have not um, tried any heat on it and that's because I don't have a flat iron uh, I have a little curling iron thing I guess I could like plug it in right now and show you right here and now if the curling iron goes in there if it would um, like melt or whatever so I'm gonna do that right now if you ask me if I would buy this wig again yes I would buy this wig again apart from the fact where I had to cut it down to fit the size of my head and I had to strip it to make it look more feathery outside of those two um, factors that I didn't like I would buy the wig again considering how cheap the wig is and before I go into like curling the hair to see if it will melt or not or if it's really um good to go up against heat today i'm wearing it casual as you can see it says plate load and this is actually my son's t-shirt like this t-shirt can fit my son and not look like it isn't his my son is seven years old he's gonna be eight this year and don't worry about how old i am just know that i'm old enough to be his mother and i'm wearing his shirt so that's the advantage of growing kids you get to wear their clothes when you have nothing to wear or you think you have nothing to wear and there is nothing that you want to wear in your closet so this is a curling iron this is a Revlon and I've had this curling iron from like forever <laughs> okay so I am going to try and see if it will curl like let me just try these two pieces like so All right, let me just try that one piece like so to see what's up what's up so I'm gonna leave it in for like a minute just to test it to see <laughs> I hope I don't buy long nose but to see what's up I don't know if it's the hair or if it's a curling iron it feels warm maybe it needs heating up some more but it kind of give it like a little wave but the point is the thing did not melt so I'll advise you to use your hot iron that's all for now I don't have anything else to say about this wig but uh, in one of my more previous videos I spoke about this apple I want to give this apple a name let's call the apple Jim and if I don't remember to call this apple Jim remind me in the comments now if you watched a previous video I spoke about this apple and that the apple is just there sitting on my dresser Someone told me that the apple is actually rotten because of the dents that it um, developed in it. I should probably just turn the lighting down a bit. But these are the dents. This is one dent. Here's another. And it's actually changing color now. Like um, it was fully green and it's like getting yellow on the bottom. But it still smells fresh, like relatively. And this apple has been sitting on my dresser since the 11th of January of this year. And we are now in March. Today is March 3. And I'm not going to cut the apple until, I don't know. I don't think I should cut it yet because I just want to see how long it... And then someone said the apple is rotten, but if something is rotten shouldn't it smell rotten stink if if a dead man is rotten if a banana is rotten shouldn't it look rotten like get black or change color dramatically or flies are going all over it or something this has not been happening to this apple anyway so here's a tip quick tip for those who are you know leaning towards like buying organic stuff fruits and veggies and other foods that are supposed to be organic 
it is supposed to well it is said that organic stuff have like um, a five digit code this apple is not organic because it doesn't have a five digit code this is like a, a four digit code and it's a five digit code and the five digits are supposed to begin with the number five so if you walk into like a produce store or something wherever you are and you see fruits or products with five digits on it and it starts with a five it's organic it's supposed to be organic I hope that the companies that don't lie about it and put those digits on it if it's not organic but if it's four digits it's GMO and if you want to know what GMO is it's like genetically it's a genetically modified organism which isn't the best thing for us to consume anyway I hope this video was helpful to you don't leave it out buying the wig if you want to buy the wig you can click on the link or in the link in the description box down below and um, also guys don't leave without subscribing to my channel <laughs> And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Wigs, wigs, wigs. Don't ever be afraid to wear a wig. Check out my tutorial on how I curl this synthetic wig. And also check out my other video tutorials on crochet hairstyles. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.